We are making some terrific progress on the mini set that's inside the rental studio of the new retailer that's moved into Chicago, right? They want to have me inside so I can have my own stuff here, have my studio, bring clients in, teach, do all those other great things. But as you know from the earlier vlog post, we've got a massive echo problem, right? That's my biggest problem. I've got some other smaller problems, but they're nothing crazy. Well, we've experimented a little bit. I did call one of my sound engineer friends who does audio mixing for actually a church group. And he's a very well-educated guy. And he said, you know, Will, some of the low cost styrofoam looking foam boards that are four foot by eight foot that you can buy at any Home Depot, Lowe's, Menards, whatever you want, are actually terrific at absorbing sound depending on how you have them positioned. So that's what I did. I went and I got a couple of them. I put them up to kind of block off the echo from the little spot, the corner, in fact, of this big space. And guess what? It's working. It's not costing a fortune. I'm getting terrific sound, particularly off the microphone that I want to use the most, which when it comes to these kids' cards, I want to use the shotgun because the shotgun doesn't scare kids in the slightest. It's ready to go anytime. I can shoot photo, then I can shoot video with sync audio, and it's terrific. So, come with me. Look at this, I get to zoom a little bit. Whoa, I know, stupid. Hopefully my doctor isn't watching, right? Take a look at this. So that's a four foot sheet, suspended just with framing wire that Louie doubled up for us. And it is uh, at, a, uh, at a height that is about six foot seven inches. So the vast majority of my clients can walk underneath it without hitting your head, right? We don't allow smoking or anything inside here, so we don't have to worry about that. Well, this is just the start. As you can see, there's our light. Got a background in the back. We've got the light pole here. That's how Louie wants the light stand. That is a cheetah boom stand. So that is a low cost way to be able to run out your sound equipment the way you want it. Now over here is a mixing board that's going to allow us to decide what we want to use as far as audio. Do we want sound shark? Do we want the laugh? Do we want the lollipop mic if I use a lollipop mic? Or in most cases, really the best sound other than the lollipop mic, which you can't really use with little kids, the best sound is the Sennheiser shotgun. There's no doubt about it. So uh, in order to reduce cable problems, we're using a wireless transmitter for the sound chart. But for the shotgun, we're using XLR cable. That's going back to the mixer. So main light, fill light is going to be a ring light on the camera. Then our normal table, background's gonna come off on the table. Then, in order to fill in the rest of that echo that you hear right now, we're gonna put in some sound blankets that are on stands. So, we've got our master plan. We're three days away from being able to have clients in on this set and make some money shooting e-business cards and shooting some more vlog posts of your favorite hybrid photo coach but also our kids' cards, because those are the secret weapon. And did you happen to notice, by the way, look at this. Yeah, this is that small HD monitor that I like so much. And when we use a GH4 or a GH3, we can easily connect HD up to this, and it has no interference with our camera, meaning it doesn't slow our camera down at all. The only thing it does is it forces us to work in 16-9 aspect ratio. So even if you wanna take pictures in 1-1 one, one square aspect ratio, you'll have to disconnect the monitor. You can play them back later and they will show up square, which is really nice, but that's one of the things in the camera that you kinda gotta work around. But this is terrific, why? Because that's very expensive. That's a seven inch OLED monitor that is color correct as well as exposure correct. So when we're adjusting highlights and mid-tone values and making sure we have the perfect exposure, we're trusting this external monitor much more than we trust the screen on the back of the camera. So the hard part is over. Wait for a couple more vlog posts in the next few days, but we got it folks. Let's rock. Crockett here saying, see you later.